morning in the greenhouse again today and going to get some seeds planted. Help. I have my little helper here, Katie, and we're just going to mm -hmm. see what there is to do. So there's Katie. Are you helping today, Kate? I Are you going to help planting? Oh, you want to do those ones? Right, okay. Right, so we've got all our seeds, as I showed you earlier, in month order. And I've got my Mother's Day Prezi out here, where I'm going to make a note of when I've planted everything. And this, I don't know if you've seen Sean's video, he's got the gardening one, the green one. Well, I picked this up at the recycling shop for three pounds, bargain as bargain, and it's just wonderful for doing all the the labels. I've got uh, there's a label in here. There we go. Two lines. It just perfect. It's great, and they don't come off. So I've made a start. I've got some really nice seed compost that in fairness it's got a it's got a bit of extra, I suppose is the only thing you can say. So I've been sieving it okay. and I've been putting the extra bits, the lumps and the bits, in the bottom of pots, because I figure drainage, don't waste it. What compost you tend to put in the bottom, you know, it's just there for goodness. Uh, vermiculite that I'm putting on the top. Never used it before. Um, see how it goes. Uh, seed potatoes there waiting to go in. And over here we've started a few. Uh, there's the courgettes in there. And I've just popped some lettuce seeds in here. Sprinkled them on the top lightly. A bit of vermiculite. I don't know what it does. If somebody can tell me, that's great. But I just see everybody else uses it. So I've put it, compost in the bottom, seeds on the top, covered it with vermiculite. It's so light, but it seems to retain the moisture. And I figured, if anything, it would help keep the seeds warm. So I suppose that's as good a reason as any. Now over here, these are some little kits. I've got the other kids and they've set them going and they're obviously happy uh, a few other bits and pieces in there again with me vermiculite troil I suppose you could call it and we'll just see what happened I just you know I should be intrigued got a load in the house staying warm keeping going because I picked up one of these electric propagators from Aldi's that were on offer. I know there's a few of you who have picked them up and I'm impressed with it already. It's only been on a day and it's keeping everything nice and warm and moist. And it... We'll see. Never used a propagator like that before. So I've got all my other ones under there. My regular lids and what have you. So we'll crack on and see what we do. Oh, crack on. Shouldn't use that one, should I? Oh, well, I'll pinch it for now. Right, we'll get on and see what we're doing. Another thing I want to try and do is get these seedlings pricked out. Because they are starting to get a little bit impacted. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely want done. So, so we get on with those. If not, I might use child labour and get the kids to do after school. <laughs> right, Sam's just been in and she's brought us some goodies from the pound shop. We've got a wonderful hook for down the allotment for when we get there and we've got our keys. Never know where to put the keys till we go home, so we've always lost them. Which I think that's brilliant. Oh look, there's that is. I said, oh look, like it's a surprise. It's there. That's the electric propagator that I was telling you about earlier. And look, 
We have life. Cucumbers. Brilliant. So Harry planted those ones, so he's going to be chuffed to bits. Unfortunately, Abby's chilies aren't doing anything yet. So we'll see what happens. Pop the lid back on. Bent's on, hopefully that'll go. And another little hook here. So cute. It's going to look great down the cloth. And this. Yay, look at that. That's going to look brilliant down there. More seeds. More seeds. Beetroot. I like the look of those. And such good value. More beans. We, beans is something that we eat loads of. And regular beetroot. So get those sorted. Those will put the beetroot straight in the soil. Now the other thing she's brought back for us is this waste bin. Kitchen composting bin that's given free from the council. So she's been down, picked them up, and let's have a look. Some bags. And I'm guessing, yeah. Brilliant, that'll be really good. I will have a read of that later. But basically, it's for all the kitchen waste. And we can take that down to the allotment to go in our big composting bin down there. And save chucking it in the big bin here. So, excellent job. Nice one, Stratford Council.